Yeah, well, it depends. You can get some nice ones. They're expensive, can though. You? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We should uh, we should top up our Mora. Yeah. Yes, let's do that. Do you have any topics tonight, Ray? No, not yet. What is this? Turning happening? turning forty would be a topic, I guess. I'd love I'd love to talk about that. All right. Why don't we do that and how I'm going to be KJ's guru for 21 days? <laughs> yes, I think those are two good topics. Spiritual guru? Yes. I think so. Yeah, I'm going to guide her through all kinds of stuff. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I came to Costa Rica and I'm getting such a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take it home with me. I give and I give and I give. <laughs> did you go up to the volcano and meditate? No, I didn't do that. But I, I did touch a sloth and that probably did set the tone. <laughs> you haven't seen a good sized earth hole yet, have you? <laughs> um, me? <laughs> you haven't either. You, we haven't taken yeah, it. Yeah, well, we did. We were at it, but we couldn't see it for cloud cover. Oh, we went to Poas, didn't we? Yeah. I yeah, that so. sounds right. That sounds right. Did you guys go to the rainforest? Or? Yes, we did. Yeah, we um, went to Osa Mountain area, which is nice, Osa Peninsula. And then mm. we went to Kuwita. And so we saw lots of animals. That was the major highlight for me. Cool. cool. Yeah. These guys are making the rounds big time. <laughs> they should. I like that place we went to where they had where the tarantula. The guy, our guide, almost wanted me to pet a oh, tarantula. Oh, what a good idea! Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a cool place. Yeah, the uh, the waterfall gardens. Yeah, the waterfall gardens. That's right. It is pretty amazing there. Yeah. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Especially if you're in good shape. Yeah, I mean it's a little bit of up and down, but it's it's, it's pretty great. A bitch. <laughs> well, it's a lot of <laughs> if stairs. If you can exercise, then I would do it. They got all those metal yeah. stairs all through the the rocks and the waterfalls in the jungle. It's pretty cool. I almost had an ass of steel after doing that. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Yeah. Almost. All right. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we roll the show then and get this thing done? Sure thing. Okay. So we're going to talk about how uh, you're you're 40 and uh, KJ is is now my student of life. Sure. All right. This sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't think you can steer me wrong. Don't worry. Uh, I'll put on the brakes if I think it's scary. <laughs> Listen. Radio. I beg your pardon, what did you say? That's why I want you to go on the radio. Your voice will be sensational. You're listening to the Five Gallon Podcast. What do they want with us? There is no doubt that we are dealing with a mechanical monster. What are you talking about? I think it's an experimental model operated by a crew of midgets. Bringing you the best of independent music from around the globe. Wait a minute, what goes on in here? Hello, episode 163. I'm Corey. Oh, she missed it. Oh, yeah. I'm KJ. You want to try it again? Nah, again. <laughs> you can do it Take again. Two. I was giving you respect because you're 40. <laughs> no, that was, <laughs> that was nice. Let's, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's all right. Let's roll that again. I'm KJ. No, it's too soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Episode 163. I'm Corey. I'm KJ. And I'm Ray. That's it. That's the panel tonight. Uh, Ray, you're old. I have turned 40. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear the age. The wiseness. Yeah, it's like uh, the cheese we just ate. Yep. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you cranky now? Not yet. Uh, well, my wife would tend to say I am. And now we begin our exciting adventure of... This is the boxing lesson with East Side Possibilities. Refreshing. Refreshing. Good as they can be. See, that's a nice introduction right there. I should remind the people who watch the video after the fact, uh, one, you're weird, <laughs> because, I mean, seriously, and two, this is not the show. So stop this watching, is, the, yeah, stop watching this, the video and go download the show. This is how it's done. Yeah, this is the behind the scenes. I, I hate how people just watch the video. I get emails now from people who say, why is the video up? Why is the video not up? It drives me crazy. Dirty lawyers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stand by. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, I almost uh, almost spilled my wine. I give you any yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is it. What? Five gallon podcast. Amazing, huh? Wow. We're balls deep in independent music. Now I'm not quite forty, but I'm getting close. How's it feel? Does it feel different? Yes. In what way? Yes. Things are falling apart. <laughs> oh, do you body ache? <laughs> I have a trigger finger now in my naughty finger <laughs> on my left hand <laughs> what, what do you mean hold on what what do you my, mean your naughty finger my my the middle the bad finger Ooh. oh the, the one F, you flash at people you. Yeah. Oh, okay the it's bird not, it's not the one you use for finger blasting <laughs> no no well you could 
Okay. Because I thought you had like a quick trigger. I'm finger. more handy with my right hand, though. Ah, uh, I gotcha. You know, uh, I just I feel like when I turn forty, it's not going to be as big a deal as people make it out to be. No, it, it, it's not. Well, you're you you had your midlife crisis early. <laughs> yeah, like at twenty five. Yeah. Because I'm only going to make it to probably fifty at my pace. Well, I thought I was only ever going to make it to forty, maybe. I thought I'd be dead by this point. Well, you know, I've known you a while, and uh, I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> That's right. You you strike me as the guy who just kind of keels. Yeah, it's it's just going to be over. Are you going to do it Elvis style? Are you going to go on the can? No, I'll probably be at a strip bar or something. <laughs> With the two knees. So I, I, I decide. I decide after <laughs> years of not working at an adult establishment that I'm going to go out and enjoy a young lady and probably die you don't think for a second though you might actually be in the can of the strip bar <laughs> that'd be worse because <laughs> i mean the grocery store because my bowels had let go right yeah clean up in uh in, in ray's bathroom <laughs> hmm. 40. is there like uh you're getting all the cards with all the jokes on it like you know over the hill no no i've only received three cards which is nice so far okay what do you do anything special tonight no, I did it last night, and I ate well all weekend, so... Did, uh, did Barb finger blast you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like these segments. This is always fun. <laughs> I just heard finger blasting for the first time uh, last night. Let me try to remember this email when it comes up, too. It just rolls off your tongue, though. <laughs> yeah, it does. God. <laughs> finger blasting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, yeah. Subscribe to the 5 Gallon Podcast on the iTunes Music Store today. With new episodes every week, it's easy, it's free, and it might even get you late. You know, KJ brought uh, a bottle of wine that I'm loosely defining as wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. I find it at like a, I don't know, a 2001 Mazel Tov. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of dirt water. A little bit, isn't it? It's earthy. It, it would belong in the uh, the fuzzy peach, was it? Or uh, no, this is a, there's no. a berry down here called mora, which is like a blackberry, okay. and uh, they make a wine out of it. And it's more like a it's like an earthy cooler. Well, the backstory is as we were driving through the mountains in Costa Rica, <laughs> mm -hmm. and we had to stop at a, a little place, and we didn't we were afraid to drink the water and the juice there, so we decided to buy a bottle of wine to support them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what the level of story. ride did you get? <laughs> mm, what, what did you say? What level of ride did you get? Was it a, a ride vehicle you were driving? Oh in yeah, it was a premium. Bus? It was no, we rented a car and it was um, a Toyota Rav, which is way better and much nicer than we could afford in Canada. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. Let's do the mail here. You've got mail. Uh, this letter comes in from uh, a girl in Sault Ste. Marie, and the question is, Corey, do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I think it'd be better if you guys answer that question. I don't think he will. <laughs> Except for little visits. Yeah, I might come back for a little yeah. bit. To live, live uh, though? What do you think, Ray? You think I'm ever going to come back? I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it'd be great, it's, except... It sounds like you've got it made down there. I don't think I have it made. He I just, totally has it made. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I just don't know what I'd do in Canada. Can I'm I keep doing to this? Run a show from an igloo. Yeah, that's right. I could. I got ice fish and podcast. I could do the first ice fishing live podcastings. I bet you it's been done. Mm -hmm. I could be a guru. Yes. You are a guru, I guess. Do you want to talk about that? Sure, let's All go right. for it. Turns out that I'm going to go ahead and uh, guide KJ for the next 21 days uh, through her spiritual, physical, and uh, mental cleansing. Is there psychological in there too? Yeah, there always is. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit afraid for you. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, you have to be at, like, I don't know. I'll have to be able to contact you at any given time. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm super, super uh, online all the time, so it's easy to find me. Ray, do you want to join in? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because it's going to be a good time. I, I've lived with you on the road, guru. Yeah. I'll tell you what's, what's going to happen here. We're going we're gonna to basically break down the body to its, its uh, basic elements. And, Are you guys uh, going to do, like, yoga Skype? There's going to be some <laughs> yoga. There's going to be some guided meditation. Uh, we're going to fast for a bit and then rebuild our diet. And we're going to do this for 21 days. Mm -hmm. 
There might be a gauze. Have you ever heard of the gauze? No. Mm. Oh. Ray knows the gauze, don't you? Yeah, I don't know about the gauze. <laughs> What's the gauze? <laughs> well, I tell you, we got to play a tune here. Um, <laughs> but when I come back, we can maybe talk about the gauze. Okay. All right. It's pretty intense, though. Relax. Relax. Take it slow. And let the good times roll. Here's L. King with Playing for Keeps on the Five Gallon Podcast. You enjoying radio, KJ? I am actually. I find it really comfortable. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's pretty you can, fun. You kind of can sit here all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got that music segment coming up. Oh. Oh, and I, I picked this because Adam was going to do it, but he's not here. Doesn't matter. Do you, Ray? Have you heard the new Vampire Weekend record? No. Okay, KJ. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay, then we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm just going to play. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, hang on. What are you doing? Okay, this is the segment where actually I focus on a band or call a band and talk about them. And uh, the latest record from Vampire Re Weekend came out. A lot of people are kind of freaking out about it because it's really not very good. And it's one of those bands that we fell in love with and everything they had done to date was pretty remarkable. This is uh, likely one of the most mundane, ugly releases ever put out by a band. So what I'm going to do, instead of focusing on their new record and how great uh, they could have been, I'm going to play a couple tunes talking about how great sort of they were. Does that oh, make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I really like the Contra record, so I'm going to play two songs off that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Why don't we talk about this gauze thing? Okay. That's a better idea, because you know what? Taking a, a long piece of gauze that's about you know 10 meters, 20 meters long, and slowly ingesting it. Oh, I think I'm putting on the brakes on this plan. <laughs> is better than listening to the new Vampire Weekend record. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but you know where it comes out. Yes. Yeah, and you know your nose, isn't it? No, it's not your nose. Oh, it has to go in through your whole system. Yeah, it's going through your whole ah. system. You're gonna be a couple hours in this. <laughs> All right, so you slowly ingest the gauze, and if you if you have a bad gag reflex, as I do, it's gonna be a tough ride. Can this actually be done? Yeah, absolutely. Have you done this? It, mm, no, no, <laughs> no. But you know, I'm the guru, so I'm gonna make you do it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're my remote guru. <laughs> All right. So you have to pass this entirely through your system, which can take between three and four hours. Wow. And then it's uh, somebody's in charge of pulling. And this is honestly part of a real cleanse? This is really a thing, yeah. Wow. And it, it cleanses your colon, your intestines, all of your innards, basically. Can't we just go for, like, double colonics and whole days? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, or just a ton of bran. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a big pipe cleaner. It really It's exactly what it is. Now, you don't, like... You know how you you dry your crotch with a towel? Right. It's not like that. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's not like you like one hand's on the one in the mouth and the one's on the other in the and then you like you know flossing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. I think uh, I think I could pull it off though or okay. out. <laughs> I think you need to videotape this if you ever try. Ooh, that's a good podcast right there. <laughs> All right. Well, you're giving me some ideas. In the meantime, do that instead of listening to the new Vampire Weekend <laughs> record. It is happy a, birthday, Ray. Happy birthday, Ray. <laughs> yep, late every yep. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. used to this. Got a super long segment here now. Oh, yeah, this is Ray's life. He just sits around and waits for this to happen. Here we go. Congratulations. Interrupt this program. Imagination is having puppies. Already. I think it's only fair to to mention to Ray why we're taking this like 21 day retreat. Yes, please explain. It's gone too far. You know, I've gone I, like I'm way off the rails now uh, with all the visitors, all the activities happening around here. It's been it's kind of just been drinking, uh, eating really terribly, uh, not exercising. I've, I've really just kind of am I off the wagon or on? Which one is it? You're a little bit off. I'm a little bit off the wagon. Yeah. Yeah, but you're getting back on. It's like when you come home for winter. You know what happened this weekend? And I'm going to announce this. I smoked a cigarette, for crying out loud. <laughs> what? A, a, yeah, a cigarette in my mouth. After two years of not having a cigarette, I smoked one. I got so drunk and so convinced that it was a good idea that I did it. It can happen. It really can. Yeah. I don't think I'm a smoker again, though. That's no, for sure. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. What, what triggered it? Well, you know, I had a guest down here of the many guests that I recently had down here. And uh, he, he's, he was a smoker, like a smoker, smoker, smoker. And we were out drinking every day, and uh, the next thing you know, uh, it was like a Saturday night. And uh, there we are, just like loaded on the balcony. 
And he, he kind of, you know, when somebody looks at you with the cigarette pack and says, you want one of these? I said, no, I don't want to, I don't want to smoke. He said, ah, come on, have one. And that was all it took. I'm that weak. You gave in that. Yeah, and this is your guru. <laughs> Hmm? His eyes are pretty powerful, though, probably, when he was offering. <laughs> I think, you know, you have to consider. Like, it's the same with a yogi, right? Yeah. The, the beauty of a yogi is that they are inherently flawed. You know, and it's that recognition of the, the flawed nature of humanity that, uh, that makes it an accepting or acceptable quality to have in your guru, right? Mm -hmm. like, I'm just flesh, right? You are flesh. I'm a lot of flesh. <laughs> I'm a little more flesh. And hair. I'm, well, yeah, in places. <laughs> yes. Not as many as I'd like. In your crotch triangle. <laughs> <laughs> have you been listening to the show? That's nice. I always listen to the show. KJ, I have nothing else to do. I haven't it's, heard I've of sit this. around for this. <laughs> well, let me try. Let me try and explain this because actually, we we danced on this idea, but we really didn't cover what it is. There's there's a new trend in, uh, and it's a dangerous trend in young women in the United States, where you know KJ, like when a girl is standing there, like in a bikini or in really tight jeans. Mm -hmm. And she's got her legs kind of together and she's standing and you can see a little triangle in her crotch, but not like the crotch, but the, right. the hole through her legs. Yes. Anyway, that little crotch triangle, that's a fad now. People are trying to attain that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like that's quite hard for most people. Well, like, it's hard to ask by, the point. By putting elastic bands up there. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I'm going to lipo my crotch. That's the best way to get there. I think don't most men have that little crush triangle? Well, men, no, it depends. I mean, what's, what's in a way? In the, if in they the lift way, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy tucking it back. So. If I do a handstand and put my legs together, would you check that out and let me know if I have a crush triangle or should I just do it on camera? It doesn't matter. I would be honest. Okay. <laughs> if you want the cruel truth, I do work on that triangle, right? <laughs> well, what was funny is we were out having some noodles and, and beers and we were talking about crotch triangles. And then what happens after a long conversation about crotches is you can't walk down the street and not stare at, at women's crotch triangles. <laughs> so like every girl that walked by, we're all like, oh, there's one. Oh, she doesn't have one. Oh, she wants one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like looking for muffin tops. Yeah, and it wasn't just a bunch of boys. I mean, you know, there were girls there too. So we were all thinking about it. But I think I think it's something that uh, is a dangerous trend, and, and I want all the women out there who are listening right now to uh, fill in your triangles. Yes, feel comfortable. What kind of triangle would we be talking about? Isosceles. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> This is the show. This is the show here. This is the show. All right. This is what we tune in for. People tune in for this. We do it for this. Yep. All right. Do you have a cupcake? What kind of cupcake? I had a vanilla cupcake. Oh, vanilla for 40th. Was yep. it delicious? It, it <laughs> was. She, she sounded a little disappointed. Like that's the wrong kind of cupcake. It kind of was, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like chocolate as much. Oh, so. mm. well then it was perfect for you. Yeah, it was. Okay. Was it vanilla and, frosting? Well, it was like eating a Smarty sandwich being a diabetic. So. <laughs> Now, do you get 40 spankings on your birthday? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> sure did. That's something we did in our house. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is there like a spank machine you have to go through of 40 people, or does someone just spank you 40 times? Yeah, well, each person is supposed to spank you your birthday year. Is it hard? Is it like a hard um, No, spanking? it's gentle. Gentle but firm, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mine was firm. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a spanker. I don't think. You like giving out the spankings. I don't like mind you feel that. like you're in control. You know what I have a hard time with is dirty talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I understand that. Like, Ray, you strike me as a guy that has no issue with, like, spilling stuff out of your mouth. I'll, I'll, I'll fill it with filth. <laughs> I just can't do it. Like, I've, I was dating a girl. I probably shouldn't say this, but I don't care. I was dating a girl, and she really liked the dirty talk. Like, liked, liked, liked it. And uh, yeah. one of the, you know, one of the girls who tells you, like, I really like it when you talk dirty to me. And tell me, <laughs> tell me I'm a dirty whore. Yeah, but then here's the thing. Like, where, how do you know the lines? And how do you enter this conversation? It's not a conversation. How do you get into this thing, like, where you start saying things that might be vile? Oh, yeah, I know. That's tricky. And if you're not feeling good when you're saying it. Yeah, because then it's like, uh, you, you know, you, you kind of got that apprehension in your voice. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're scared a little right. bit. <laughs> so you, you like that? Huh? Is that good? When I, you know, it's really... Even just thinking about it, I'm actually starting to sweat. Yeah. Well, you, it's probably something you have to warm into. You don't go straight for, you know, giving them an Alaskan pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this sounds like? 30 well, seconds I, segment. Hang on. I think we got a good one right here. This is 30 seconds. Awkward. 
Corey Dirty Talking <laughs> on the Five Gallon Podcast. Hey, do you, uh, do you enjoy that? Is that, uh, is that something that feels good? <laughs> because I, I, I really like giving it to you. And if you would like more, I, I am willing to continue. <laughs> You're so polite. See? <laughs> yeah. That's I'm, the Canadian in him. <laughs> I'm really polite. You like that? That I'm, that I'm nice to you? Does that, does that turn you on? That, Should I be extra nice? <laughs> right. Do you want? Do you want a towel? <laughs> that was that was thirty seconds awkward uh, dirty talk. It's, it would really be like that. That was very <laughs> awkward. I know. <laughs> on the on the five down podcast. Here's cave painting with leaf <laughs> on the five gallon podcast. Let the dancing begin. I don't know if I uh, properly expressed to KJ what this show is. <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting. So it can be anything and everything. It is. It is. I'd like a little bit more uh, Mora here. Ooh, I, I think I'll pour you some. Thank you. Hey, girl. Whoa. <laughs> All right. That thing's got a screw pull cap on it. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. It's both. <laughs> Was that the first time you saw that cap too? <clears throat> ah, God, it's earthy. <laughs> yes. That's nectar of the gods. That's what I think. <laughs> nectar of the goats. <laughs> it's actually pretty good the more you drink it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's yummy. Ray, right? we're cheersing to you right now. This is for you. Ching. Gracias. <laughs> De nada. All right, we got uh, two more little segments here. So let's, I think, wait a minute. Or is this the end? Yeah, this is the last segment of the show. Okay, I have to do sponsors at the end. Don't let me forget. Oh, we go around the room, by the way, and we do final thoughts, KJ. Okay. Okay. Well, KJ, that was your first podcast with me. How's that? Uh, how's that feel? Yeah, it was great. It was exciting. Did it was you, fun. Did you like that? You feel I really dirty. Did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel it surprisingly refreshed. Really? Do you want? Do you want maybe some more of that? <laughs> Just a wee bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a bit more. A lot more. <laughs> all right, wow. Huh. Well, there it is. Uh, I'm going to go around the room and do the final thoughts of the panel. Go all the way up to Canada, if you don't mind, and start with Razor Ray Kidney. Trying to understand the behavior of some people is like trying to smell the color nine. <laughs> <laughs> I should have warned you, KJ, that Ray prepares uh, the final thoughts, but that's all right. Uh, going over to KJ, final thoughts for the night. I guess I just have to say um, I'm kind of obsessed with Costa Rican smoothies right now. <laughs> it's the size, actually. They're just so big and delicious. <laughs> well, you know when you go to the menu and it says big ass smoothie? They're not kidding. Yeah. They're not, I I can't, yeah, the two for one smoothie days would be pretty sweet, too. <laughs> what What kind of smoothie did you have, actually? Um, I had strawberry, pineapple, and banana. Good it was Lord. very good. Well, we've got a lot of fruit here in the tropics. I don't know if you heard. Yes. <laughs> All right, I got to run through my stuff, but I, I don't know if I have any final thoughts here other than uh, I, I, I guess I want to thank everybody for downloading the show. Uh, all the people who are watching the video, stop. You're weird. Go download the show. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to do all the sponsors. Uh, FreshBooks.com. If you guys do online invoicing like I do, FreshBooks makes it easy and fun. Don't forget to go over and get that iPhone or iPad app uh, with time tracking on it. I absolutely adore it. Remember, guys, it's not what you get paid. It's when you get paid that matters. FreshBooks.com. And you know what, guys? I'm really into indie music. Have you heard that? <laughs> I think we have. It's my thing. It's like a thing I do. Ray, do you know that? I knew that. There's a place where I go when I get all my e-music. And uh, it's on e-music because it's indie e. E-indie music. So it's emusic.com. Did you get that? That's the web address. <laughs> One of my favorite places, you know, you can get plans for like, like $11.99 a month. I think I pay... $16.99 a month and I download a whole bunch of stuff. Got a great downloader, throws it right in your iTunes. It's super, super cool. All the hottest bands, all the greatest stuff. Great referencing system, emusic.com. Uh, one of my favorite sources for independent music on the internet. You know what, Ray? I've still got another sponsor to go. Can you believe that? One more. It's just because I've got a lot of domains. You know, I've got thisweekincostarica.com. I've got thisweekinpanama.com. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I've got fivegallonsound.com where you can find all of these great tunes. And all the links to all the bands if you want to buy some of the music that we played here tonight. I've got OverseasRadio.com, OverseasVentures.com. God, I'm a busy guy. Look at me. <laughs> You're a dirty whore. Hair, <laughs> speaking of dirty whores, HairCoreInTheMore.com. That's a great show. Go listen to that every Thursday night or Friday morning. Your choice. 
But I get all these domains from one place and one place only. Ray, you probably don't know where that is. Where is that, Corey? It's Hover.com. Great okay. company run by the folks up in Canada called Two Cows. I love those guys. You know when you go buy a domain, it really sucks. You go to GoDaddy or something. Oops, did I say GoDaddy? Whoops. And you buy a domain and then they try and upsell you. It's like, get all this email and get all this hosting, get all this garbler. Blah, blah, blah. And all I really want is a domain. Go to Hover.com. No upsell. Here's the domain. Great email services. They've got a concierge service as well, which is really important. If you've got a domain at the competitor and you want to move over, just tell them Corey sent you. Maybe some guy will move it over for you for free. Hover.com. Love those guys. I guess Corey that's kind of it. Sent me. I don't think I have any more sponsors. I should get these wine people to sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. Mora. Ah. Uh, and once again. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Coach. You yeah. can't say our wine is dirty. <laughs> okay. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this show up. Is that cool? Yes. Thanks for having me a part of this show tonight. Oh, man. You can come back anytime. <laughs> anytime. Ray, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, it's good to see you, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice. I went all Charlie Brown teacher there. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Portions of today's programming are reproduced by means of tape recording. And now is the thermals with I Don't Believe You. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Yeah, that was so cool. That's yes. Great. So then you'll put in the music in between, yeah? It's already done, it's already actually. Done. You're going to see some magic happen now. <laughs> Jeez. It's hard to be me. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Ray, thanks so much for doing the show, man. Great to have you back yeah. on, bro. Good. Thank you. I appreciate that. And a very, very happy birthday to you. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> Another year. Yeah, well. Burping. It's some pizza. All yeah, right, brother. Yeah. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to edit the show. And uh, and I will talk to you right shortly. Okay. All the best to Barb, please. Yep. Bye, Ray. Maybe I'll see you sometime. For sure. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.